I got the mics on so people can hear you eat. Yeah. It's like ASMR. Playing basketball. Playing the basketball. We're playing basketball. All right. <laughs> Believe we are up and running game about to start to East Carolina taking on the two lane green wave and a uh, little game I like to call basketball Pirates knocked off the green wave earlier this season Pirates haven't knocked off anybody in a long time trying to snap a losing streak today get back on track when their first game without Brandon Suggs available to play uh, all that on the line today. Joe Dooley, uh, critical of his team's effort on Wednesday night and uh, hoping for a better performance today in Tulane. I'm Clip Brock. Chandler Honeycutt is to my left. Uh, we are expecting the arrival of one Tony Dunn here shortly to join us here on this watch along brought to you by Tiebreakers. And I got the cheesesteak and a wrap, which I will finish at some point soon, with tater tots. Big tots guy. I have great tater tots at Tiebreakers. Chandler got the medium buffalo wings. Extra crispy. How's that going for you? Really good. I just devoured my first wing of the 10 that I got. Have you and, uh, uh, always gone that route, or did Morgan Aylers <clears throat> tip you off to that yesterday? What, the extra crispy? Yeah. No, um, I've heard some people around tiebreakers say that they get theirs extra crispy. I was like, I'm going to try that out. All right. And uh, it's a big hit. So try it out sometime. Extra crispy. It's got a little extra crunch. All right. Uh, chime in with us. Let us know you're watching. We got Chandler's mom watching. Hey, mama. John Moody, part of the Sugboat crew. What's up, John? Steve Hill is in. We've got some. That's on Facebook. We've got some YouTube watchers as well. I uh, need to figure out how we're going to do our giveaways today, Chandler, because we have some tiebreakers gift cards that we will be giving out. Robert Matthews is in the house. Um, we got tiebreakers gift card, and we got some Pirate Radio swag to give away as well. Let me just confirm here. Uh, that we have four Pirate Radio shirts and four lunches for two to tiebreakers. Mm. So, let's do the, um, this is always dangerous. Let's do the, the three. The first three-pointer oh, of the game. No. Hit by ECU. There he uh, is, Tony Dunn. Tony Dunn is here. Your food's in the back, Tony. And uh, Come say hello first. Hello, hello, hello. We're gonna do the first three pointer made by the Pirates. What time? How much time will be on the clock when ECU hits their first three pointer? Ooh, how much time on the clock? First three pointer. So type in your answer on Facebook and YouTube, and I will jot those answers down. Tyler's checking in on YouTube. Johnny's here, oh, Craig, timing. and we're about to tip it off. So get your answers in now. Scott says sixteen thirty four, sixteen thirty four. ECU going with the road purples for the I believe the first time all year. I feel like they were in the black on the road majority of this season, so they're going with the purple. Tulane has the ball first. Get your answers in uh, quickly as possible because. The game has started. You got like one minute to get your answers in. Right now, Scott and Johnny are the early birds. What's number 13's name? Vance Jackson. Jackson. He's the one that kind of looks sleepy, right? <laughs> he's, well, a little, he's, he's a little slow. Yeah. And his. Uh, like, it's his just like, like very methodical. Yeah. 
Uh, Luigi the bug with the hook. So I have the a big question for listeners and for you guys. When I was at the game, the refs made him, and, and this is just one person recognizing good hair, right? My man's got a lot of hair. Um, they made him take his headband off. That was like underneath, and I don't know why. And he like had to throw it off to the sideline, but they like made him take it off. And you I didn't just, hear an explanation. No, I mean I was courtside. I was well, almost. If you were courtside, yeah. you probably would have heard. You're right. <laughs> I you was right. a little deep. We're too far court. away. Two line answers were the three. All right, so we got a lot of answers in. I'm gonna have to cut this off now. So if you didn't get in, you can try in our next. Uh, Next prize, but we got Scott, Johnny, Nathan, Tyler, Sharon, Craig, and Steve into this first contest. The winner will win a lunch for two gift card to tiebreakers. And what do we got there? Foul? A yes, two lane foul. Let's hope that this is not the same officiating crew from Wednesday night against Temple. Nah, they were in Charlotte last night at the Spectrum Center screwing the Hornets. That's right. Brutal. God, that was brutal last Ooh, night. No sug boat today? No. Tugboat has been out for a while. Is he wearing shorts, like game shorts? Who? Brandon uh, Suggs. No, I, I didn't check it out. Tristan Newton off on a three. Also, no J.J. Miles today with an Achilles mm-hmm. injury. Pirates are undermanned. Ooh, is that two and seven in conference? Yeah, that Ouch. is. You weren't lying when you said, just wait till we get the conference play clip. Did I say that? Yeah, okay. thanks. Yeah. You really ruined my... One of the two wins for ECU coming... Uh, so basically, we lost like Tulane. seven in a row. It oh feels my right God, there. what Ugh. kind of shooter's roll is that on a three? That was a very friendly roll. They got some dead soft rims there in that gym. Looks like there's a good crowd there in New Orleans. Todd Graffinini said yesterday that Tulane has finally got some crowd support going. Six and four in conference play. They've been really good. One of the teams Tony ECU beat in conference play was this team. Got a three ball. Bow! Oh, it almost got a free ball. No prizes what. for you. That rim is soft, though. It about <laughs> curled in there. What was the prize giveaway? Uh, lunch for two to tiebreakers. Oh, that's a nice one. We got a bunch of those. Uh, well, we got four of those to give away today. Great food at tiebreakers. Well, you you ordered? Uh, oh, you got the pimento cheeseburger. Yeah, good, interesting call there. Side salad, best side salad in Greenville. I tell you that. Now, why is that? What's in it? They put like real bacon in it. Okay, and they make it with like a higher end lettuce, so it's not just the iceberg <coughs> lettuce, and it's just a good portion size every time. It's interesting because I like a side salad, yeah. and a lot of places just phone They're it in. Disappi- yeah, yeah, it's so disappointing. All right, Pirates need a bucket. And yeah, they, oh, oh, no oh, roll. Man. Somebody no. tighten that rim up in between plays. Nine points for Tulane, all coming from threes. And here comes another here, one. <laughs> right. And you're not lying. Oh. oh. In and out. All right. Yeah, I don't really like these uniforms. I don't like the gold on the shoulder, but I do like that van. Oh, 1634. Bing. Oh. That was like right on the, if 1634 don't win that. Wait. Oh, wow. Scott. It was right on the money, dude. It was like 1633. Scott was first in today with 1634. Wow. What a call by Scott Duffy, the Duff man. So, uh, Scott, if you could send me or and or Pirate Radio a message on Facebook and um, we'll get your information and give you a gift card. Now, Scott's not ahead of us, is he? <laughs> well, he said that way back. Yeah. So, uh, that's a uh, that's a heck of a guess there. He- hell Scott of a Duffy. guess. Right on the money. Why did I say heck of a guess and then you said hell of a guess? I one up you. Sorry. Wow. All right. Winners. If you say freaking, what am I going to say? Uh, all right. Who's the next pirate to score a bucket? That'll be our next giveaway. Get it in now during this break. Hurry up. Uh, next pirate to score a bucket, you get a Pirate Radio t shirt. Or some kind of shirt. Could be a hoodie, could be a tee. I'm not sure what it's going to be. I was not told. They only tell me the really important things around here. Uh, Scott Duffy, congratulations on your win. 
All right, now we're going to go t-shirt. Or <laughs> now we're going to go shirt. Next pirate to score. You got to get this in quick. So get those names in. We got for Newton. We got Craig. Robert. Steve, Johnny, everybody saying Newton. For Jackson, we got Kevin. We are doing the next pirate to score. Who will be the next pirate to score a bucket? Get your answers in now on YouTube or on Facebook. Please, if you would, um, like and share and do all that good stuff. Uh, the stream. We'd appreciate that. Tyler is in with Tristan Newton. Speaking of, I'll do that. How did I, how did I do that thing now? I just did something, Shannon. Okay, I'm good. All right. Uh, let's see. Anybody else getting in here? Vance Jackson says Josh. We got a Luigi Debo sighting. Luigi. Scott already won, but if Luigi scores next, Scott will get a shirt with his card. Okay. Because that's a pretty bold claim. Luigi with the first basket for the Pirates. Luigi Debo says Scott, who's he's playing with house money right now. He's doing a heat check. John Moody says Newton. If Newton scores, we gotta have a we're gonna have a big draw. Uh a win. Tony's got his food. Tony, what'd you get from uh tiebreakers? <laughs> Do we do this again, Chandler? Oh, did we already say that? <laughs> uh, pimento, bacon, do pimento. Do you not remember the side salad conversation? <laughs> Along with the burger. Oh, I do remember the side salad conversation. <laughs> that thing's got a lot of bacon in it. Yeah, does. dude, I'm telling you. Holy moly. I saw them kill the pig in the back. Mm. Okay, game on. So if you're not in now, you're not in. Looking for the next pirate bucket. If it's not one of these guys, we're going to have to think of another. Up. Oh, Up. Oh, shoot it. Oh, shoot no good. Got Amati. He was too close. Can't shoot twos. He is very slow, but for some reason, he still can create separation. Uh, That's a good point. We'll agree to disagree on that one. Here is a block shot by Brandon, Brandon Johnson, Johnson, who... I don't want to say he struggled. He has not been as good as he was in the non-conference, facing lesser opponents. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm talking about? Pirates trailing by four. And Tristan Newton with a nice pass to Luigi. Kick out to Jackson. And another two-point attempt is mm, good. Got it. And that was silky, my friend. Silky smooth. So, Pirates cut it to two, nine to seven. Kevin... Josh or A win on YouTube is gonna get a shirt here. Let's see who we got. Damn. Another three. Cook is cooking. All right. Hit that Tristan. Hit that Tristan. Whoa. Slow it down just a little bit. All right, pick our uh, our winner of a shirt there, Chandler. Always go with the middleman. And the middleman is Jay. That would be Josh... Thomas? Josh Thomas. Wide open! Josh Thomas is our winner of a shirt. Congratulations, Josh. All right, let's do closest to the pin. How many points will the Pirates have at halftime? Ooh. Twelve. <laughs> so they're going to score at least one more bucket? No. How many points will the Pirates have at halftime closest to the pin? We'll win a card and a shirt. Card and shirt on the line. How many points will the Pirates have at halftime? Oh, good pass. Go. Yeah, good Bad up. finish. They called a foul. Shooting take. Craig. Gino. 
Gino Bellflowers. That's a cool name, Gino. That can't be a real name. It's way too cool. Hey, I'm Gino. Gino Bellflowers. Gino Bellflowers. Hey. Look at Gino Bellflowers over here. He's from my neck of the woods. Gino Bellflowers? Gino. Look at Gino Bellflowers over here. Kevin with 32. How many points will the Pirates have at halftime? Closest to the pin wins. Let's go to YouTube. Tyler says 32. What's the geographically closest conference opponent? Do you guys know? Would it be like Temple? That's why I like Tony. He's asking the questions... That nobody cares about. That need to be answered. <laughs> nah, well, nah. Uh, Philly. Because um. I have this idea of us going to an away game. Is like it this, really Temple? And um, like getting a group together for like a weekend trip and then just showing out at a ECU basketball <laughs> game. Like, at and a road it, and everybody would be confused. As yeah, well. and people would also, I mean, imagine the team. The team wouldn't know where they were at either. That's true. They'd be but I do think it would be a fun experience and make a, a weekend trip. I mean, Philadelphia is a great city. I guess I that's I know closer, we're, we're not playing them right that's now. That's closer I mean. than like Tampa and. Yeah, I mean, Canada. this is New Orleans. Man. I mean, that's a good trek. Now, New Orleans is a good place to go. I mean, that's a good trip, but that's expensive. You have heard that? I've heard it. Uh, <laughs> interesting. All right. <laughs> what do you mean by that? I don't know. It's just like, we're not talking about So this, is everybody. Well, it's hole-in-the-wall place. We're talking about New Orleans. Famously <laughs> a fun place. And you're like, oh, yeah, I heard that was a cool place. <laughs> I don't know. It's like, I, I don't know if anybody else has heard this. <laughs> I'm trying not to tell anybody. I'm trying to keep it a secret. <laughs> I've heard it's fun. <laughs> Free ball. No good from Arnold. What was it? Oh. Yesterday, we're not talking about Tony. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, uh, I'm going to have to go ahead and cut off the answers here. But we got a lot of people in. Johnny boy. Oh, John Moody says, and and this is why I wasn't thinking about them. Navy for football. Oh, they yeah. don't play basketball. Okay. Baseball. Ron Hunter is literally on the court. We could go to uh, Philly and do the Pat and Geno's. We could do a Pirate Radio Pat and Geno's challenge. Mm, I love a cheese stick. I know. Was that a three? No, that was a uh, two. Brandon Johnson. Friendly roll for Brandon Johnson. The Iron Kind. All right, Robert, Craig, Gino, oh. Kevin, Tyler. Ah, man, these guys are just—they are cooking, draining threes Jeff, all day Susan, long. Steve, John, Johnny—is it the same guy? What's that guy in that white jersey? Cook. Vance, Vance. He wants some. Oh, oh, no, he doesn't. Yeah, Tulane's uh, hot. They are jacking them up, too, right? Yeah, They're not I mean, afraid. I mean, they haven't, like, I don't know if they've taken a, but, like, one two-point shot. Yeah, they hit a layup. That was about it. They are throwing it up from three. Here's another. Oh, wow. Playing there conservative. Another, another three. three. Oh. Jeez. Yuck. Pirates down 10. Pirates love to get down 10, huh? Oh, no. I just saw a spoiler. Spoiler. They're about to be down 13. Uh oh. <laughs> that was Forbes who had a really good game in Menji's earlier this year, too. I'm guessing turnover then. Jackson, small, drives. Ah, oh, uh, I like small. Uh, he's going to be good. Maybe. Look at this. He I've wants more. He good. wants more in the corner. That's what he's going to camped go out. Oh, they yeah. just oh, left the oh, wide open. Why? Once again. Why? Look at the Tulane crowd. I don't think I've ever seen a Tulane crowd like this. Corey Glore is going insane right now. Oh, Corey asked if we, if we were going to listen to him uh, during the... Uh, during oh, this? Yeah, we should pull it up. Um, I said we were going to roast them live on the air. <laughs> well, right now they're roasting us. Roasted, toasted, and this sucks. And we're right where we <laughs> are feeling right at home. An away game right at home. Tony, your 12 prediction looking pretty good for points at half <laughs> Oh, my gosh. And on 13. 
Look at that stare running there. Good Lord. What flavor wings did you get? Medium. I've had to medium. go medium, man, because the hot at they're, tiebreakers they got a little will kick burn to your it. ass up. They got a little kick to it. <laughs> Look at the dad looking at son over there saying. Son, let's talk, talk about bowel movements after eating wings on the radio. Sorry. That's all right. We're not on the radio. That's a great point. Talk about your asshole burning. Yeah. Ass burning. <laughs> <laughs> hey, everything's fair There's game. different rules on the internet. Uh, anything goes. We can get butt naked right now. No, nope, I'm not thinking that. I, th- I feel can like we? I mean I feel like you guys actually. I mean I spoke prematurely because I'm pretty sure that Pirate Radio has had their Twitter account taken down from them. Uh, <laughs> like what else? We don't need to ruin their That's Facebook true. feed. True. By the way, Coach, um, we executed the plan. Uh, no, we didn't. I wanted to talk about that. Ooh. Has it come out yet? Yeah, we, we put a promo out with the plan. We had to call it Audible. You totally went against the plan. No, Coach, I <laughs> called it Audible from the, si- or from the field. I was thinking about this. This is what's wrong with the youth and the player-coach dynamic. The player thinks he knows better than the coach. And you just called your own number there. I called a play. You Coach, said, are you mad? I'm not mad. I'm disappointed. We executed, though. I, yeah. I, I saw, I read the defense. <laughs> so the plan was for me to call tiebreakers, pick up the food, and drive here while you drive here and we meet. You send me a message saying, I'm at tiebreakers. I'm going to get the food. Uh, for uh, As a favor. So I was already there. I was like, I might as well pick the Look, you're right. We executed. It went well. I guess you know how these stubborn coaches are. What would Bob Knight do? Throw a chair at me? If Calvert Chaney was like, Coach, I've got a layup here. I'm just taking this instead of running that play. No, pull the ball out. No, run my play. No, like, Coach, I'm right here under the basket. I'm going to just shoot it. You know what I'm saying? Well, they went to a zone, and I was like, you know what? i got to just call my own shot here. All right. I know Chandler doesn't like getting picked on, and we like to pick on Chandler. But uh, they didn't make you pay for it, did they? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Coach, I gave him uh, $20 over the price. I bought yeah. all of these uh, gift cards. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. If anybody, well, you have to know a little bit about pirate, pirate popcorn to understand that. And his trip to Nashville, or was it with your yeah. sunglasses? No, Can both. we not talk about this? <laughs> <laughs> Good job, son. Good job. Thanks, coach. Newton drives and gets murdered and gets his own rebound oh. and puts it up and no good. No way. Yeah. Forbes oh again for three. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What are we doing? Oh, my God. How many threes is that so far? See uh, what else is on TV. Mmm. Might have to watch mm. it. My, that is a tasty burger. <laughs> That's big, too, buddy. Do you mind if I have some is of that, your drink to pickles? wash it down with? Are we get a water <laughs> or a dew or something. RJ my Pulp Fiction Block. reference. Oh, oh, yeah, sorry. Oh, my, that is a tasty burger. You know, I watched uh, Jackie Brown recently for the first time ever. That was, that was good. That's, it's long, isn't it? Very long. Like three hours, I feel like. It was Very long. Pirates. It's been a long time since I've seen that one. Yeah. I've been watching a lot of movies because i got all these streaming services, and I want to get my money's worth. So I just, like, search what's on the uh, apps. They missed the three. And here's this guy. Karen Agay. He's getting some run here. Uh, he's got oh. a lot of oh. three. Oh! oh. <laughs> good oh, God. Good rebound. Look at this man. He is a different athlete. Is that uh, R.J. Felton? Yeah. He just out-jumped three of their guys. Well, he had to since he's a foot shorter than them. Well, and as I said uh, Wednesday night, after he made a play, if he was two inches taller, he would be playing somewhere. <laughs> That's probably right. The cold hard mm. truth. It's Javon Small. Oh wow! Wait, I thought it was R.J. Felton. It is R.J. Felton. Why do they show Javon Small? Because we know more <laughs> than these stupid asses at ESPN Plus. Don't. 
They got us in our Did own they heads. put the name up? Yeah. Oh, okay. They're trying to... <laughs> everything we believe in, they're trying to tell us it's wrong. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Wait. Isn't it Cy Seymour? Yeah. Mm. He missed two damn free throws. But Lucy got the rebound, got it back to him. We need it. Oh, good draw. Uh, he tried. Uh, <laughs> oh, my God. I don't know, man. ECU, this is too much of their game plan, getting down a lot and they trying to it. make these comebacks. They just love to do that, don't they? Luigi's the rebounding machine. Foul, right? That not got a foul. Him out of Good God from Goldsboro. <laughs> My high school football coach used to always say that. My dad says that. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Did you coach? <laughs> hey, coach. Do you see when you see him at the basketball games? <laughs> you say, hey, coach. Yeah. <laughs> good God from Goldsboro. There was one night we were at the game and your dad said, good God of mighty. It took me back to my roots. I'm going back to my roots. We are not that good. Three ball, RJ Felton, no mm-hmm. good. On who? On who? Who's that guy? Is that Reyes? That three Who's was that so guy? offensive they called a timeout. Tooley's just putting in everybody now. Where's Frankster at? Let's see right there. Right. right there. All right, we need to do something else. <laughs> oh, where do you want to go? <laughs> we got a giveaway out there. We need to give away. Um, we need to give away a shirt. That uh, away trip sounded a lot cooler. About eight minutes. <laughs> <laughs> you still want to do that? All right. Um. How about a Super Bowl trivia question? Okay. And we'll do um, the first caller that calls in. I got to come up with a good one, though. Got to come up. Who does everybody have? I'm going Bengals. I know you're going Rams with Stafford. (sighs) Yeah, I got to go Rams. I'm sure 95%. Of the people are pulling for the underdog Bengals, and I can't blame them. What am I looking for? <clears throat> should, should we let Tony get the phone? Yeah, sure, Tony. Just hit line one and say hello and see what happens. <laughs> C three Panther podcast. Tony speaking. This is Tony. <laughs> Hang up, Tony. Tony. Let's get out of Tony on the phone. Tony. (laughs) Uh, Let's see. Let's see. Robocaller, I guess. Yeah, we get a lot of those. We get a lot of that. All right. Everybody out there, listen. In one minute, I'm going to ask you a question. A Super Bowl trivia question. Oh, that's who I thought I was answering, by the way. We hadn't asked the question yet. In one minute, I'm going to ask the question, so get prepared to... Oh, yeah. They can hear that, too. (laughs) (laughs) Um, And get ready to answer that question by calling 252-317-1250. The first person to call in with the correct answer will win a... Pirate Radio shirt. 30 seconds. I'm asking the question. Everybody get ready. Everybody get loose. Everybody. Loose is a goose. From Greensboro. A goose from Greensboro. <laughs> Good goose from Greensboro. <laughs> I'm asking the question in 10, 9, 8, The time seven, until they hit another six, 3. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Here's the question. What two teams have faced off the most 
in the Super Bowl. These two teams have faced off three times. That is the most common matchup in Super Bowl history. Name those two teams that have faced off three times in a Super Bowl game. 317-1250. First person to call and get it right wins a shirt. Hmm. 317-1250. Good question. That is a good question. Tough one. Tough one, Jim. Tough one. This is a tough question and a tough watch along. Tulane just shooting the lights out. I got to look up and see how many threes they've made. I want to say it's already close to 10. Okay. I'm guessing nine. We got a caller here. Who Caller, who are you? No. Hey, I'm Steve Hill. What's up, Steve? Steve. What's up? All right, Steve. Who, uh, what? Shot in the dark. Okay. I'm going Steelers Cowboys. Boom. Steelers Cowboys is correct. Boom. Boom. Steve Hill wins a shirt. Congratulations, Steve. We will get that to you. Thank you. All right, man. See you, Steve. Thanks for hanging out. All right, we'll do another uh, trivia giveaway later on in this ball game. Should, should I answer this? Sure. I feel like Steve should say, long-time listener, long-time caller. I think uh, they hung up. Alright. This food was on time, brother. Tiebreakers. Good pass. Put the ball up. Mm, we, we didn't really plan on this, but we showed the variety the tiebreakers had. Cheese steak tots, burger salad, wings. Pimento cheese. Yeah. Pimento the best. cheese. It's got a fried green tomato on it. No, I know that's what? Clip's not favorite, so. But Clip would say hold the tomato. Hold the mater. Tulane is 9 for 16 from beyond the arc. I'll give you guys a pro tip, too, if you go to Tiebreaker's uh, Hidden Gem on their menu, fried mushrooms. Did you hear me say about the crispy? Getting the crispy wings? I'll get them extra, yeah. Mm. I feel like I do that everywhere. Like, that's a kind of key everywhere is to say, fry them hard. Oh. So, like, this is a regular thing. No, I mean, I think that, like, I just prefer mine extra crispy. Mm Mm-hmm. Get that extra and I've worked at a restaurant, so you know that sometimes, like when you're rushing along trying to do stuff, that you give them out cooks, but you could let them fry hard. Zero points for the Pirates in the last three minutes. Do I win the giveaway clip? <laughs> um, no. Oh, thank Jesus. I wish my gym wasn't hidden. I'd be in better shape. What's that? Your oh, gym? Good. Is that a good gym? One? Is that a good G Y M like a gym? Is that a Got good, it. It's that hidden. A, is that a good He's not joke? working out. Got it. Why I'm isn't sure. everyone Staying laughing? Fat. Why isn't everybody laughing? Fat. <laughs> Sometimes the best jokes you just kind of sit there and ponder about it. Like the best jokes go over Tony's head. That was a good joke. It was. My metaphors are so complicated. It takes six minutes to get applause. <laughs> it's like uh, baskets in basketball M&M for the Pirates. <laughs> they just foul a three point shooter. I can't do this anymore. With one second left on the ticker. I can't do it. What if Joe Dooley was like, I can't do this anymore? Like, <laughs> he does not. Antonio Brown. He just ran right into him, man. Dude, you can see the rim bouncing. There was a game last check night. Check these rims. Yes, check the rim. Oh, um, it was uh, Dallas in the NBA. Dallas and whoever they were playing um, had a 45-minute minute, minute delay because the rim was crooked. <laughs> see? We got some shady stuff going on here, too. Uh Uh-huh. Uh-huh. John says fried mushrooms are on point at the breaker. At the breaker. Do people call it that? Mm, First time I'm hearing it. That's the first time I've heard that. Where are you going tonight? The The breaker. breaker. Where are you not going? The hidden gym? (laughs) (laughs) Hey, y'all heard about... I'm thinking about going to the breaker after this. Y'all heard about that city in Louisiana? (laughs) The hidden gym (laughs) of America? I've heard about New Orleans. it. They've had like I've se- heard that place is awesome. They've had like seven Super Bowls there. And so some people have been there. I heard there's a football team there. A college got flooded once. The unfortunately football or a team? lot. We're down nineteen points. Uh, oh to boy. Tulane. We are what a complete turnaround for both of these teams. The worst. 
the worst. Remember when we did this with the Oklahoma game? And it was fun? I mean, we were, we were so young and dumb. We were very young. Come on, ACU. Give us something to watch. We had our whole lives ahead of us. Our whole season. Whole season. Had a, <coughs> had a healthy squad. All oh. right, so right off the bat, the Tulane's passing the ball pretty well. And we're not really moving the ball around at all. I feel like it's been that way the past few games. I like your observations kid. there. How about Joe Dooley after the game the other night said his team got what they deserved. They didn't have the same effort, energy. They were. To. I mean, could maybe it's because shots are going in, but I mean, I feel the same way about that tonight. I don't think. There we go. A little ball trying. movement. A little ball movement. I think they just got to play a little bit more as a team. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Good pass. Yep. He loves that pump fake. Oh, See it man. Man. Another Working. turnover for Newton. My God. Just try to do too much on your own. What was the halftime prop that we put up? Like total for ECU? Yeah. <clears throat> I think Tony's still closest when he Tony. only said twelve. Don't call a foul. Thank you. Push. I don't know if you've noticed this. Sitting with me in two thirteen, Felton for three, no good, way off the mark. He hasn't. Uh, I don't know if you've noticed this when I sit with you in two thirteen that I like to yell push. I like a good fast break. Get down the get down the court. All right, I'm with you. I'm with you. Up tempo. Push, push. That's another. That was a weird looking shot. Another that three. He buried it. Gosh. Make that 10 3 pointers for Tulane. Thirty nine to seventeen. A new low. What is their three point percentage, though? Not even that. Is their pro- if that's ten? They're like ten for twelve. It's ten for seventeen, I think, because oh. it was nine for sixteen while ago. That would make that. Tyler says uh, ECU. He was reminding us they're a second half team, guys. That's right. That's right. Thanks, Tyler. Man, Clip says they're not. What was it? Well, this was another story from the past that you're like, they're not a second half team. <laughs> Okay, this was the oh Cincinnati game because ECU had been a, a really a first half team leading up to that game. They were getting blown out and then came back and, and made it a game. They're a I think Redbeard has said this and, and erratic. They're a one half team. You don't know which Ooh, half it's going to be. Yeah, that's it. A good could point. be first, could be second. Yeah. Redbeard broke clock is right twice a day <laughs> with four minutes left in the first half pirates are shooting 29 percent from the field seven for 24 from three-point land 20 percent right on the dot two for 10 and uh Tulane shooting 50 percent from the field 13 for 26 and then 10 three-pointers off of 17 shot attempts 58.8 percent let's turn on Corey and see what he's got to say how do we do that no, we're whooping ass Tulane is currently whooping ass right now. How do you do it? Is it like the varsity or go maybe tune in app? They're like the tunein.com or something. I think it's I think it's different. I think it's Hello. The Green Wave are shooting lights out. Green Wave are whooping ass right now. Welcome back to the Ass Whooping Radio <laughs> Network. <laughs> We're here back in New Orleans where nobody knows where this is. <laughs> Maybe you've heard, heard about heard it. that it's fun. <laughs> if you're just now learning about this town, it is fun. A lot better than Greenville. <laughs> More people know about Greenville than New Orleans. And I've heard that's fun. <laughs> they have tie breakers the breaker the breaker hello breaker breaker what is happening yaga who is that oh you gotta pay for it on tune in that's why i'm telling you it's called varsity uh, the varsity one way two lane and tempo coming up one week from today here in uptown two lane sitting in a half game back Temple right now the Nobody cares, Corey. No. Nope. Nobody's listening. No one Nobody likes you. <laughs> no one cares. Be quiet, please. Shut up, Corey. <laughs> We're trying to watch you the game. Suck. You suck, Corey. You suck. You suck. 
two to nothing to start, and it's been all shut up. Oh, two to nothing to start. It's been two to nothing since the Pirates took the early lead. Number three, it's the glass back iron. No good. No good. Something fishy about these Rams, Corey. What's up with the Rams, Corey? No good. Offensive rebound, Jackson. Oh, you calling us no good? Speaking of no good. Oh. Time's the charm there for East Carolina. Oh. Trying to get some offensive reloads here. Thanks yeah. a lot, Corey. Yeah, Corey. Thanks a lot, Corey. How's that? Ass. Ass. Ass clown. So ever since... Uh, Chandler said those will those will tear your ass, ass is that all of a sudden this has become an ass broadcast uh, broad ass you suck uh, alright thanks Corey for that have you already addressed that no oh what yeah. Jay did? Uh, this is separate from our daily Pirate Radio Live giveaways. This is not Pirate Radio Live. This is it is a free for all. This is a watch along. Get in here and win. Anybody can win. Anybody. Hashtag Fire Matt Roll. That's for you, Susan. James. Everybody but Corey is eligible to win. Yeah, Corey. Third time's a charm, Corey. That's forty-one to nineteen. Ugh. Yuck. Ever since you asked how many points we were going to have at the half, they just like completely forgot how to score. There's always that situation. Like last year during the AAC conference tournament, we did a watch along ECU versus UCF, and one of the I think the first thing we did was the like like we did today. When will ECU get their first three point? And that basket. did it take a billion years? I think it went to the second half. I don't. Oh, I remember that one. Yeah. I don't I remember think we that. Got a I think I was watching the along. Half. The game was already over. <laughs> you guys just stayed in studio to the next game. Yeah. So that could be one of two things. I do, Tristan got his feet real close together. Good lord! I do believe superstition right, and stuff like that. But so either I'm jinxing them with these things, or they stink. Yeah. I think that is it. Could be one of the two. I'll let y'all figure it out. A little I mean, lethargic looking, a little sleepy. They've been lackadaisical. With us in Section 213. So. A little overwhelmed by how cool of a city they're in. They did not expect it. They, <laughs> they just rolled in thinking they were going to another. Oh, just a little sad. Down. Never ever heard of this place before. Hey, what are you guys doing here in New Orleans? <laughs> we heard it was fun. <laughs> Who told you? <laughs> if you Google New Orleans, it, it, you get a 404 error that I cannot find. Turns out that uh, ECU practices at a hidden gym, too. <laughs> hey! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Ooh! Is this that cook guy again? No. Thank goodness. Still, oh, okay, never mind. Oh. Reyes getting some minutes. What's his first name? Mm-mm-mm. Who Alexis? cares? Ah, yes, that's Alexis. right. Oh. You are, they are putting everybody in. What's that? What's the message there? There's two freshmen in there, at least. <laughs> the guys that we're in ain't doing shit? <laughs> is that it? I think so. Who is that? Who is that guy? Leston. Looks in- excited mm. to Get that rebound! Oh. It just, oh. just got it snatched. Dang. Man. Just got it completely snatched from him. Way to get back. Look at the c- hustle. He wants to... Dooley just wants to see some guys play hard, I think, at this point. John asks, are we having a watch-along for the conference tournament? And then does a laughing emoji. Ha, ha, ha. No, we're going. <laughs> we're, we're going. Where is it, Tony? I don't know. Take a shot in the dark. I, uh, I think it's in New Orleans. Jeans. Nah. It is in Fort Worth, Texas. Oh, that sounds far. That Dickies sounds Arena. Dickies Arena. Break out the Dickies. Yeah, they got room in those jeans? <laughs> <laughs> is there any more room, room in those jeans? Sorry. <laughs> I'll put my own spin on it. <laughs> I hear you. Ah, oh, this is... They're just making everything. Wow. To answer your question, John, we like the punishment. We probably will do a watch-along. We love torture. Yeah. 
the torture chamber. Good pass. I mean, even yeah, though... Yeah, there you go. Uh, majority of these we've done has been brutal, but we we still enjoy doing this. I'm having a blast. I mean, this is so fun. I mean, it's really no <laughs> yeah. different than last year and the year before, though. So, I mean, it's like... At some point, you just are ready for it. I think we're over on the, on the uh, watch alongs. We oh. won one. Um, I've won one. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all weren't here. Maybe they, you're the problem. Me, Maskovich, uh, I think I go. It was ECU Tulane, right? Ooh. Just a bad oh, miss. Jesus. Bad miss by Vance Jackson. Jeez. It was back when we had the TV in the corner. Of yeah, uh huh. Down on the counter. I am. Ooh, another one. Oh, it's Redbeard. Are you freaking kidding me? Oh we got to get the chair out. Get his ass out of here. Get the mask. Is he already here to pick up his prize? Security. <laughs> like he was waiting in I the parking lot. I think he had lot. some sub dogs. Are you coming in? Hey, we got a three. Got a three ball. Bing. Man, I've seen you do that three times today. Are you coming in? All right. The Pirates cut it to 21. And that is big for... Here comes the run. Here comes the run. do 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 <laughs> All right. Craig has 27. Gino! What's his last name? Gino Bellflower! Gino Bellflower has 28. Oh. Jeff Collins has 27. Susan has 29. So, it's going to come down to the wire oh, here. Oh, got a mask on. I get scared. Craig and Jeff have 27. If we have a tie, we'll have a pickoff. If a two-pointer is made, Gino is going to win. If the Pirates hit a three, it will be Susan. Although Tulane's got the ball. They can almost hold it for the last shot. He you might have one more crack at it here. Here comes the sun. Do, 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 do. Here comes the sun. And I say, it's all right. Hmm. Hmm. They're going to take the last shot. Ron Guess. Hunter stays on the court. Guessing it's going to be a three. I'm going <laughs> to say that's probably true. I bet Corey's saying some dumb shit right now. And put up a 50 burger in the first half. Here we go. Three, two. Oh, one. no. Don't call it. And one. They caught a foul. That is the second three point. Why did shooter. they just leave him in the corner the whole time by himself? Like, has anybody noticed that this guy's hit like four from that same spot? Jeez, man. He might have some. Uh, oh, was that a foul? He might have some hardball. Or was that a flop? There might be a hardball situation. Might, yeah, might stand. yeah. Stand <laughs> over that court. Stings, man. <laughs> Smells like crap. I'm oh, guarding this guy. That's my new strategy for basketball games. Just, Just don't no, shower no for deodorant. two weeks. Was yeah. G- did Jim Harbaugh get sacked a lot when he was a quarterback? Because I feel like maybe they didn't want to tackle him. He was um, the least sacked quarterback in the NFL. <laughs> All right, 1.3 seconds. So we could have a pickoff here. If the Pirates hit a miracle three, Susan wins. If they hit a two, Gino wins. If they don't score, Craig and Jeff will have a pickoff for Craig and Jeff. Man. Boy, how your spirits can change in just 20 minutes, 15 minutes. How long is it? 20 40 minutes? 40 years. Here we go, Ray. Uh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> off, the, off the clock. <laughs> what in the world? Uh, Rob that? Hunter's dancing to the locker room. What was that? I mean, oh, that is... Is Ron Hunter the new clapper? Did you see how hard he was clapping right there? If you guys could go back and see this half-court shot, it is about 25 feet too high there. Remember Rock and Jock on MTV? Yes. He had the 25-pointer way above <laughs> That's the That's what he was trying to hit. All right. We got Craig and Jeff Collins, not the coach that wears the sleeveless shirts all the time at Georgia Tech. This is Jeff with a J. My man said, stupid shot clock. Chandler's going to make the pick here. 
We got the winner of a pirate radio. Ooh. It's hard to pick the one in the middle, and there's oh. only two. This is a gift card and shirt. Gift card and shirt. What is it? J. J. Again. All right. That would be Jeff Collins. Jeff Collins on YouTube. Could you, um, Corey? What'd you have to say about that last uh, three-point attempt to buy these two pirates? Can you do DMs on like YouTube? YouTube. Jeff, uh, contact us at the station two five two three one seven twelve fifty. Send us a Facebook message. Twitter. Send us, uh, Twitter's cool. For send me a tweet if you have Twitter, and get up with me so we can get your info and get you this stuff. All right, Chandler, do you want to keep this thing going? Or start a new one. Yeah, we can start a new one. We'll take a halftime break. We'll come back. Oh, boy. Should we close it? When we we return, we might have Redbeard joining us. A rare appearance. We'll see. And uh, the second half action. And we have more giveaways. So we're going to shut it down. And we'll come back in a moment. Come back, folks. Come on back now, you're here. 